On the 3rd of November 2012, a train left Flinders Street Railway Station at 10.55am and was heading towards Cranbourne Train Station. The train was a six-car Comet EMU and was operated by Metro Trains Melbourne. The train arrived at Denonong Station at 11.36am. It departed Denonong Station about half a minute later, headed for its next stop, Lindbrook. There was a truck. The truck was a prime mover which had just departed the Melbourne Wholesale Fruit, Vegetable and Flower Market in Footscray and was bound for a supermarket in Denanong South. As the truck left the South Gibson Highway and turned right onto Abbott's Road, the truck driver started to feel quite sleepy. As the truck was heading towards the Abbott's Road level crossing, the truck driver fell asleep at the steering wheel, so he ignored the gates at the level crossing. The warning signals at the level crossing were activated when the train was about 800 metres away. The train driver sounded the horn about 400 metres away from the level crossing. semi-trailer did not and was struck by the train. The front carriages of the train sustained massive damage than the other carriages. One person was killed in the crash and eight people were injured. The semi-trailer also sustained a lot of damage. Commuters at Lindbrook and Denonong stations were angered by the delays and the public transport network brought in buses to ferry commuters on the Cranbourne line. was damaged in the crash. During the crash, the semi-trailer was shrugged to the side of the track, sir. were damaged beyond repair and scrapped. The undamaged carriages of the train were towed away and placed at Newport workshops. The Abbots Road level crossing was removed in 2018 and replaced with a new rail bridge by the level crossing removal project. Good afternoon. One person's been killed after a train derailed this morning when it crashed into a truck at a level crossing at Dandenong, south of Melbourne. As many as nine people were injured when the front carriage jackknifed and flipped onto its side. Let's go live to reporter Tim McMillan, who's at the scene. And Tim, what more can you tell us? Good evening, Georgie. Well, still, uh, we're looking at one person dead, several more in hospital. You can see the train uh, still there behind me. Six, tra six carriages in total, one completely ripped off the tracks. Three others have derailed. Now, most of the only 14 people on board, and thankfully it was a pretty quiet service uh, at about 20 to 12 this morning when it was hit. Uh, of those uh, 14, all but two got off safely and relatively uh, unscathed. The, the most seriously injured, though, was the driver of the train himself, a man in his 30s. He was trapped inside his cabin for more than an hour, uh, pinned to the floor, essentially, by his seat. He had to be passed out through the window of that cabin, uh, placed onto a stretcher and walked to a waiting ambulance. So he is still the most... Uh, serious uh, of the injuries taken away from this scene. Uh, but uh, really, thankfully, we are talking about uh, only one fatality. Could have been more. It's, uh, it's a scary prospect to think what might have been had this happened during a peak hour service. As for the driver of the truck, 
Well, he emerged with a little more than shock, not a scratch on him. It appears at this stage as though he's just gone through a level crossing and uh, maybe not seen the boom gates. Who knows? We don't uh, know uh, anything more uh, as far as that uh, is concerned just yet. But uh, the Georgie crash investigators are still uh, pouring over the scene uh, here. They will do that for the next uh, couple of days. We don't expect any action on this uh, train line for at least five days. The tracks themselves uh, are a buckled mess and the train itself is going to be a while before it's removed from the tracks. As for the truck driver, we understand he is currently being questioned at a police station not far from here.